at the end of a sermon, people will either be thinking about themselves or they'll be thinking about God. That's basically the options. And so there's a lot of different ways to preach, a lot of different approaches, a lot of different schools of thought. But essentially, that's a very important question. Am I pointing people to themselves or am I pointing people to God, to Christ, to the, uh, the revelation of Him in what we've been looking at? And so I think one of the main ways that we do that is when we turn the text, whether it's implicitly going this way anyway, whether the text is instructional in nature or whether it's not instruction, we tend to turn everything into instruction. And that's, that's fine. It's, it's okay. There's a place for instruction. But the problem with that is that we can preach to people and leave them ultimately thinking about what they must do. And even where we've spent the whole sermon proclaiming Christ and celebrating what God's done, it's so tempting right at the end to just switch back to application. And so let's make sure we remember this. And people go, I must remember this. I must remember. Every, every sermon can so easily fall into the trap of turning the gaze back onto the listener. But I think the best sermons are sermons where people go away amazed by God, where they go away thinking about him. And interestingly, those are the most effective sermons too. Those are the sermons that result in life change. Uh, they result in greater morality, greater holiness, a greater service for God. And so it's a good question to keep in mind when you're preparing the sermon and when you're preaching it. Is this pointing people ultimately to themselves or am I pointing them to God, to Christ? That's the best way to do it.